Just came to the city, hit the homie Reek up at Agda Italy. Brought a couple of goodies. I brought uh, band ones and Letterman ones to get, uh, you know, to step up the laces real quick. Got the homie Reek back here. Yeah, ironic, right? We both named Tariq. Spelled the same way, too. Uh, yeah, people know that name. They know Star. Everybody knows Star. So yeah, yeah Starway. Star Real Starway on Instagram. Keep them out. I mean, it's all different kind of heat for this. You can, I mean, you know, we can keep it OG and match the Navy. We can go with some denim. I'll put some swatches in there. And yeah. Get some things, something to choose from. You got these OG bands. These retros is really good too, they did a good job. So by the time they step the leather up for you, you know what I mean? No doubt. This is gonna be a good look. Let's watch something, let's go up on the board right here. Got some black leather here, the little ones. Got some black leather. I'm thinking about some black. Got some black for there. There's so many cool ways you can go with it, you know. You got patent leather. Mm. We got these, uh, we got these, we call them our dark collection, which is still look like a basic shoelace, but it's old. Yeah. All the stitching there is beautiful. It's stitched, it's our denim shoelace. It's kind of hard to see it right now, but when we throw it in that light, you're gonna see all that. Beautiful stitching in there pop up. And nice black denim. Yeah, and always we got like some distress laces if you want to kind of just really just don't want to do what everybody else is doing. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, and how can I forget that classic fire engine red? Everybody loves that lace up. How can I forget that? Throw something in there. Let's, let's mix this all together and make, some, make it real saucy, make some real good dope ingredients. So we're gonna throw that in red in first. This is called swatching. Gotcha. When you come into the Ag Lily store, you bring in your heat. We you swatch it up. We don't you don't you don't just gotta pick one and then that's it. We swatching it. Let's see which one is the best fit for that person. Because everybody yeah. has different styles. You know what no I mean? No doubt. So I probably I just try to pick some things out that fit you. Yeah. Can't go wrong with a little dark denim on them. And then last but not least, that distressed black denim with that pre-wash. So these are all your choices you get to choose from that you like. Boom. Those are the choices. Starway hooked it up, threw some swatches in this band one for me. We got the red, we got the black leather, we got the patent, we got the black denim, we got the distressed denim. That black denim is nice. The distress will set it off too though. Yo, yo. Yo, so you figured out what you wanna go with? I got two choices right now. Okay. It's either the black denim. Okay. Or the black distress. Ooh, you getting real, real, real funky. You you breaking all the rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're gonna figure it out. They both dope. Though. Nah, they both dope. They both crazy. So the two options for the Letterman, is a salvage denim with the orange stitching and a blue lambskin joint. Crazy. Yo, star. All right. Let's do that blue lambskin though. Okay. So since you're already going denim in the other one. Yeah. Because we're going denim in the other one, we might as well go with that lamb in this one. I like right. it. I like it. All right. So. Star, let's go with the ah, decision decisions. Let's go with the straight black. Heavy black? Okay. Yeah. So you 
Ed, what you want? So what you want to go with? You want to go with? All right, so with the Letterman's and the blue, let's do the rose. Okay. And then for the denim, let's do the silver. Okay. A little something, something a little different. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna make these, and then, okay. they, then uh, one of our head stylists that's in the, that works with us, uh, he's gonna, he's gonna do all your lace up for you. Okay. okay. So you have it styled by the right person. Cool. I'm gonna let him introduce himself at that time. So one lace is done with the blue lamb with the gold aglets. That rose gold is looking good on that blue. How long you been uh, doing this process? Well, in the store only we do this process. That's not we just made to order. I mean, when they order online, it's already ready to go. Yeah. Uh, but in the store, they get a different experience. They get a chance to choose and pick what they want. Get a chance to see how it's, how the tips are put on, which is called the aglet, and let them get the full experience, the whole aglet really luxury experience, of, and why the shoelace is so important to shoe. How many pop-ups did you do? Oh man, we did over 20 pop-ups before we actually okay. did a, like a long-term uh, SS16 story. Yeah. yeah. So they did pop-ups in uh, New York, Atlanta, DC. Uh, uh, Chicago. Yeah, we moved around with this. We opened this as an SS16 store, as a spring summer 16 store. Okay. We decided to keep it open as a, a FW, which is for winter 16. So we're going to be here for the whole 2016. Nice. So, yeah. And then we uh, you know, might close for the dead part of winter and then open back up a new store for spring. And now all your aglets is ready to go, all your, everything is put on. There you go, it's your last process, is what you call the lace up process. All right, the black denim with the silver aglets is done. Now it's time to get them laced up. Hi, man, I'm King from Aglet Italy, lace up specialist slash brand ambassador. I've been around the brand um, from the jump. We've been around for five years. So we've been in this store uh, since May. And this is what we do. We take the shoes to the next level. He finally did what I wanted somebody to do, star. Black denim, standard black denim. What we do is uh, with the denim, we go straight across. We usually do a herringbone lace up like this, but um, what we do with the denim is we go uh, straight across. And when you're lacing up, we like for you guys to keep a pattern starting from the bottom up. The pattern stain and concept is what keeps it to look like our specific lace up, like you see in the posters and on the flyers. Gotcha. You gotta keep your pattern from the time you start all the way to the top. That's what most people miss, they don't keep their pattern. If you're gonna go left over, you go left over all the way up to the top. If you're gonna go right over, you go right over all the way up to the top. There you go. And then, loosen that up a little bit. Yeah. Nice, nice. That's your Jordan one laced up in denim. The first shoe is done. The band one. Got the black denim in there. The homie Keen 
He laced that bad boy up kind of tough though. So the difference in our materials. This is a lace-up in denim. See how it's, there's no flip. It's just over, 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 and I kept my same pattern. I went left over, so I continued left over. With your lambskin, if you can see there's a flip in the corner of the shoelace. That's to hide the underside of the actual shoelace where the seam is. So we flip on the inside of the corners, you turn up right, and it, you keep your pattern. Whether you go over left, you continue over left. You go over right, you continue over right. What a great experience at Active Italy today. Got a shout out Star and King for hooking it up.